take a trip. Get the band back together. See moments as possibilities. Take a wrong turn. This is life, but life is so rarely this. So promise to do it again next year, only in Minnesota. The University of Minnesota football team invades the boisterous big house, ready to make some noise of their own. Minnesota now opens Big Ten play against Michigan and a program that's been under fire. Take it to the house. All right, you're in the big house. Take it to the house. We felt like this game was a a coming out party for our team as a whole and specifically our defense. Knowing that the rivalry is over 100 years old, it just makes that game so much more intense and makes everybody so much more excited to play in this game. You're playing this field position game, you want to take advantage of it and make a play. Both defenses are made phenomenal plays. Down to one on the play clock, the snap is made, the hand off to Smith. He's got room and he's got a touchdown. Michigan, eight yards, they had a monster gaping hole on the left side. When Michigan scored first, it was like, we gotta go. I mean, they scored first, big deal. Scoreboard doesn't matter. The only time the score matters is the end of the game. We have to go out there and do our part, and we have to put points up. With Leitner under center, the ball on the left hash. Play action, rolling right is Leitner. He's got all kinds of room. 10, 5, touchdown! Mitch Leitner and the Gophers are an extra point away from tying it. They all sold out for Cobb. Darrell, you've been asking all day for it. And finally, Leitner held on, and there was no one there to make the stop. Here is a handoff. It's Smith, and he's hit in the backfield, trying to drag a tackler, and the Gophers do a nice job. Steven Richardson just wrapped him up and wouldn't let go. It looked like a rodeo. Big play here, third and five from their own six for Minnesota, with 1.31 to go. Leitner on play action to pass, looks, throws, and he's got Plesic out there and a great catch at the 27-yard line of first down. Santos came through with a, with a big, big field goal before the half. And, I mean, although some of the drives didn't sustain as well as we wanted them to, going into the halftime 10-7, I mean, it felt like we was up 30-7. to You've done every single thing I've asked you to do. And if you continue to do that, play as a team, play like that, good things are going to happen. to pass, throwing over the middle, K.J. May has it, first down at the 25, and he's brought down there, good strike from Mitch Leitner, Blake Counts is in coverage in the stop, snap back, spot down, the kick is up, it's on the way, and it is good, he drilled it from 48 yards out, Ryan Santoso, here comes the blitz for the first time, and uh, Jack Lynn hits the quarterback, floats in the air, picked off, Devondre Campbell, far sideline, touchdown, Minnesota Golden Tip ball. Turnovers are the fastest way to lose a football game. So, you know, as, a, as a defender and as a member of the defense, those are absolutely huge, huge things that have happened in the game. Both Devondre and, and Damian's fumble recovery, uh, you know, were changed the tide of the game. And the Gophers come out of the stack with it. Let's see who came up with it. The Aaron Cochran. Rosemont, Joe Bjorkland at right guard. The handoff to Williams. No, it's a play action. The shovel ahead. Touchdown! Max Williams on play action. Rolling left. Leitner just shoveled it ahead to Williams. And Minnesota has a 19-point third-quarter lead at Michigan Stadium. People are filing out of here by the dozens. 27-7. They have lost faith guards. This place is starting to empty. The student section is a third full right now. O-line, they controlled the game, the line of scrimmage all game. I mean, Coach trusted those guys, and they trusted me putting the ball in my hands, so we just wanted to go out and do our job. And we knew if we could pick up a couple of first downs, that's all we had to do. And you can just about pass in the songbooks now, Daryl. 
Another first down. The sticks move. The clock starts. And it looks like Michigan's resigned to the fact down 16. They won't use a timeout again. That whole moment when the, finally the game clock ended and we were all running to the sideline to grab the jug, it was just like, wow, we did it. We got the jug back, we're bringing it home, and it was just like, th this moment right here is something that I always want to remember. When you win this game, you know that you've just made history, you know, you just become part of a tradition that's been going on for over a hundred years. On It's just unreal, like I said, it's history, we just made history. It was, it was fun bringing that jug over to the Minnesota corner. Um, you know, those, those fine people who made the trip to Michigan uh, deserve it more than anybody to be able to celebrate with that trophy and, and hold a piece of history in their hands. Walk it to the fans! Walk it to the fans! I mean, even when we were up and Michigan was quiet, you could hear those fans on the top cheering for our defense, like cheering after we did something. And it's just a great feeling. Playing on the road and you have so many other fans screaming at you, you look up. You see a lot of maroon and gold, and they're cheering, and they're into the game, and you can see them jumping up and down. So, I mean, once we won the jug, we knew it was only right to take it to the corner, and they were still fired up, still loud. So it was only right to uh, celebrate that moment with them. I can't tell you from a guy that's a part of this organization how proud I am of a group of people that just flat played their butts on. They ain't been hit like that now. And that is, that's, that right there is go for football. The win on the road's important. You need to enjoy it. There is only moments in life that you get. This is a moment. So you enjoy the moment. You enjoy it all, you soak it up. I love you, man. I love you. Having the jug back in Minnesota for all the people in the state, it's a big deal. I mean, it's something that we haven't won a lot in recent history. And back in the day, we were winning all the time. So just knowing the fact that we're rebuilding the program, we're turning it around, we're, we're doing things for the state of Minnesota, really just means a lot because you know what? We're bringing things back and we're doing things that people can appreciate. I particularly enjoyed coming home from the buses from the airport uh, and seeing um, just a sea of people in front of the Gibson Nagurski complex. That was, that was a special moment because you felt like people cared, you felt supported, and uh, you know, from, from where this program has been and, and where it's going, that was, that was something to take note of. Uh, on the bus ride back, we were all questioning, you know, is there going to be people waiting outside the complex for us? You know, that'd be so cool if it did. And we showed up and there was a bunch of people out there and, you know, everybody had a smile on their face. They were so excited. Just seeing those people and the fans outside our complex celebrating us and cheering us on to know that you have that, side, that kind of support and you have people that's watching that want you to do good would have to be one of my favorite moments. Just coming back and seeing all the fans outside, it was just, it was an amazing experience. Coming back and you see all the people just cheering you on and telling you how great you did as a team and how we just we just got to keep it going and keep the momentum going throughout the season. I just love it, man. I just love it. I love it. Minnesota! Minnesota! Minnesota!